straight hair when I opened my shop. I only knew how to cut coarse hair. With coarse hair, there's a lot of misunderstanding with going against the grain. And I want you guys to take a close look at his hair. Like, his, he has waves under there. He didn't brush today. Don't even try to tell me he did. And the last person to cut your hair went with the grain, right? Did you do go with the grain? Okay, so, perfect example. You see the light, you see the light spots here. It's not because he did a bad job on his haircut. It's because he he you didn't go against the grain. If somebody comes in and like 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 has his hair, I'll recommend Uppercut Deluxe. Like a, there's a water-based product, Deluxe Pomade. It comes in a red tin. It's a lot better for the hair. It's a lot better for the the barber that's cutting your hair because it's water-based. It, there's no petroleum in it. It's, it's a very light smell and it lays the waves down tough. I still use all corded clippers. Two sets of, two sets of liners, no matter what. The, li the lighter you are with the T out liner, the more crisp the line's gonna be. And then I use fast feeds, Oscar fast feeds. I use the fast feeds, but I switch the blade on the fast feeds. They come stock with a 50 tooth blade. I switch the blade to a 53 tooth blade. They cut more efficient, they cut more clean, and they there's more definition at, at, at the end of the cut. I only use a triple zero for one step, and that's the, to get out of the woods for any bald haircut. A bald taper, a bald fade. The, this step will help you a, a million percent. This is a three close. Now I, could, I already know that this isn't gonna be, this isn't gonna look the way I want it to look. But it's better to start on a higher guard than it is to be on a shorter guard. I'm gonna use a higher guard, go against the grain. And this is this was also self-taught, so this took my clients a minute for me to like them to process it. Because I was taught to only go with the grain. Okay? So I'm gonna do a two open, two open against. Now the waves are gonna pop and you won't have any like dull spots. Whenever you do like a high top fade or like a fro, like a fro, natural fro, such as mine, you want to pick it out or brush it as much as possible to get every single hair alleviated from the head that you want alleviated from the head. So I'm gonna brush them out one more time. And I'm gonna go against the grain with the two open again. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna lay the hair down before I cut, before I cut it before I taper it. When you look at a haircut and you have these steps that you've worked on for <laughs> forever, you'll be able to look at it and be like, know what you use there. So I'm gonna fix this one part that I see here. Don't wear your head down, don't wear your head up. Just keep your eye, eye level, you know what I mean? And you'll be all right. 